Hi guys, today I will just have a short video about uh, GreenShot, uh, which is the print screen program that I use the most and have been doing during the years that I've been a sysadmin. So I can highly recommend it because it's uh, very simple to use and has all the functionality that I yeah, really want for a print screen program to have. Have you tried turning it off and on again? So this is called GreenShot and it's completely open source. You get it at getgreenshot.org. It's under the GNU open source license. So there are no other software bundled with it or you don't have to have a subscription or anything like that. So go to this site, getgreenshot.org. Here you will click the download. I am on my Windows machine here. So I will click on the Windows latest table and it's a short download, it's a small exe file. So we will open it up right away, I will press yes. And here we can see, select the setup language, English will be just fine, even if my English is not the best. I accept the agreement and here we can see it is indeed uh, open source GNU license. So we will press next and here we will see uh, it's kind of a change log and I will press next again and it asks us for the path to install it so uh, once again next here we can select a uh, yeah, couple of different plugins I will not I'm not interested in any plugins like this for example uh, office or any OS, uh, OCR or imager plugin or anything like that open with external command plugin uh, yeah that actually sounds kind of necessary because if we press for example print screen we want to open up the uh, print screen functionality and not just have the functionality to maybe right click in the taskbar to take a print screen so i'll keep that other than that seems to be mostly additional language installations here so we will click next after that and then the start menu folder is okay with green shots so next and sure we can have windows start a program when it start windows that's also cool and then just install so it takes a while um, here we can see it want to open some kind of web page sure here it is, thanks for using GreenShot. Uh, they ask us for a bit of money. And yeah, if you find the program worth it, of course, make a small donation, nothing wrong with that. I won't do that right now. So I will exit out of the browser and actually start the app. Okay, uh, GreenShot is uh, installed. It says right click here or press print screen. So let's see what happens if I press the print screen and here we can see that it actually opens up the default snipping tool from uh, Windows. But if we go to the taskbar and here we can see green shots, we can right click the icon and we can see capture region and it should have been the print screen button but maybe they have um, some rivalry over the print screen button, the default windows and uh, green shot so we are going to look into that of course but if we do capture region from the taskbar we can see that we get a crosshair like this and this is default and it makes it a bit easier to yeah to aim if you want to be very precise where you take your print screen you can disable the zooming function but i think it's kind of neat so here we can for example take a print screen like this and when what I usually do I just save it directly or I open up it in the image editor which is very handy so here is the green shot image editor and here we can do a lot of stuff to enhance and make the best of the print screen and maybe for example we can press the rectangle so we can draw a rectangle this is the drop shadow if we don't want to use that and yeah okay we have the rectangle but if we 
do the selection tool, we can actually move it afterwards and adjust it. So that's very handy. And the same goes, you can also highlight it and press delete. We can draw other shapes and we can even have some fill color here. If we want it to be maybe green and we can remove the drop shadow. So here we have a, yeah, a red ellipse with some green filling. Very cool indeed. Of course you can make lines. Uh, arrows are very uh, good to use if you want to point something out. You can delete that. And one of my favorite features are, is the add counter. So what is this? This is actually uh, just as it says a counter. So maybe you are doing an instruction for, uh, yeah, let's say an intranet or an article. Then you can press this and then you press once. It does a number one, two, three, four. And then you can maybe in the text say press one. There you enter this information. Press 2 for next, press th 3 to enter the next, and finally 4, and you are done. So that's very, very good for guides, etc. And what is also cool with this is if you messed up uh, and you want to, for example, remove step 3, you can highlight it, press delete, and it will actually recount. So, um, yeah, it's very dynamic and very handy to use. Some other are kind of self-explanatory. You can, of course, have text in all different kinds of size and shapes and uh, shadows if you want. So here we can just type something and we can increase the size. Um, and then there is a frame around and you can, of course, remove the line thickness. If we put that to zero, there won't be any line. And uh, yeah, uh, to delete it, you just uh, mark it with the selection tool and uh, press delete. Then we have another uh, cool tool and that is the highlight tool. So this will highlight in the selected colors you have. I have now a highlight pen in yellow. But here you can also change the fill color, for example, to some kind of pink or magenta. Um, and we can remove that and that. And here we have an obfuscate, obfuscate, I think it's pronounced. Um, and you can see also there are some shortcuts if you use this program a lot. We can press, for example, O to have the obfuscate. And this is very good if you're sending some uh, sensitive information and you don't want to, maybe in this case, uh, I don't want to reveal my IP address. So I press the obfuscate key and it will actually pixelate uh, this info. And here we can see we can even make it a blur instead. Uh, didn't work too good, but maybe if you just want to blur a little bit and we can increase the pixels so it gets really hard to, <laughs> to read what's in this line under here. Then we have some effects. We can draw some borders, torn edge. I don't use that too much. Uh, we can rotate and uh, flip the image and uh, yeah, but the top menu, of course, we can save the file and here we can have a PNG, BMP, GIF, JPEG. Yeah, there are quite some different uh, types where you can save it and we can also just copy it to the clipboard. We can print it and we have some preferences that we can briefly go through. So, for example, we have all the shortcuts, the language, and how often it should check for updates. Then we have a capture. If you want to include the mouse pointer when you're capturing, you can uncheck this if you don't want to. And you can have some sound. And here is the magnifier that I talked about. If you don't want it, you just uncheck it. And here is the delay before uh, the print screen actually takes. So sometimes, um, maybe you want to have a bit of a uh, higher delay, so this is 0.1 seconds. And the capture mode is automatically the output. Here we can see usually it uses the PNG 
and we can change how it saves but uh, of course it's very handy to have the date in here at least and yeah this is the storage location if you are using jpeg here you can also set the quality of that destination is used dynamically so this is the menu that we got uh, earlier and i choose in my case to open it in the image editor but maybe if you're doing batches of file and you want to save it uh, maybe directly to the predefined uh, predefined uh, url or path you can actually just say save directly so you don't have to get the menu all the time here are some printer options and here are some plugin options and yeah, there is some kind of expert mode also. All right, now time to solve the print screen uh, problem, if you may call it that. So by default, uh, Windows 11 is actually using the print screen key for the snipping tool. And as this is an enhanced version of the snipping tool, you can say we are not going to use the default Windows snipping tool. And this key is actually located in, uh, if you press the window, start menu, settings. We can search a setting and this is under the accessibility keyboard setting. So you will search for accessibility keyboard setting. And here we can, yeah, sticky keys, uh, turn off, filter keys, toggle keys. And here we can see use to sprint uh, print screen key to open screen capture and this is referring to the default window snipping tool so if we put that to off let's see if we can take a new print screen and what happens nothing happens so let's go to green shot maybe we need to go to preferences capture region and here we can delete it and do a print screen let's go with ok and hit print screen again and it works so now we can actually do print screen button on the keyboard and we can make a print screen out of the print screen <laughs> all right guys that was it for using a green shot as a print screen tool on your windows machine hope you liked it Subscribe for more videos and see you guys later. Bye bye.